welcome back to your next dose of reptile reality. This week, I am going to highlight Spilotes, tiger rat snakes, another favorite of mine. Actually, I say that about everything that my videos are about because they're all here in my collection because they are my favorites. But here's one also I've been working with for a very, very long time. Start out by showing you one of my just about breeder size adult animals. And there you have it. Now these guys, just like a lot of the clubrids that I work with that I really like, they're large, they're fast, very smart, very visual, and I know a lot of them are known for being very, very defensive and very, very bitey. But again, here at DM Exotics, that's not always the case. Now this animal was hatched here. Uh, this one is just about breedable, and I'm gonna show you the, this is a female. I'm gonna show you the male that I'm, I'm going to attempt to uh, accomplish some breeding. I've hatched several clutches of these here, and I'm working with a high yellow line, and I, I will show you a great example of that. But uh, they usually lay uh, some a female that is about this size, maybe a tad bigger. Kind of the average, at least for me anywhere, has been between six and eight eggs. They're very big eggs. The hatchlings are very long, and you know they're fast and and agile, and they start readily on rodents for me, no problem. Just another one of those really fast-moving colubrids that likes fast-moving prey. So you throw in some, some hoppers and things that are right, racing around in the cage, gets these guys fired up, and they go right to it. They make really good captives. They're semi-arboreal, so your cages, uh, you know, if you really want to see them maximize their space, you get some cages with some height and some branches and all that. And, and they'll come off the ground, but to be honest with you, you know, they're fine just being in a nice big ample cage. Now the imports that are coming in out of Suriname and Guyana, they're very, very different from, from these. These are like a Southern Mexico type locality and um, the scalation and everything else is just so different. There needs to be some good, good studies and, and I would say the, the ones from Guyana and Suriname should at in the very least be a different subspecies, very, very different. The scales in those are very long. The animals aren't quite as bulky, they're very thin. These have shorter scales, they're not as elongated, and these animals can actually get quite a bit of um, girth on them, comparably speaking anyway. So we'll get this girl back. And I will show you next. Now these animals are always hungry. Always hungry. So just reaching right in. They may get right to it. This animal is already bouncing around looking for food. Where is it at? Where is it at? But um, once he comes out, he'll be nice and cool. Now this is my star male of my high yellow line. <laughs> Just like typical colubrids that can see real well, they like to jet right out and try to get onto anything that they can see. So you can see why this is a high yellow line. It's beautiful, beautiful snake. Retain a lot of these orange bands into adulthood. Now when, when the offspring from a male like this hatches out, I typically get 50-50 high yellows and then uh, similar to the animal that you just saw. So <clears throat> it's definitely a genetic thing. And I've never bred two high yellows to each other. Due to unfortunate circumstances over the years, I've just never gotten to the point where I had you know, breeding, getting lots of males and that sort of thing. So at some point I really hope to be able to accomplish that and see if something even beyond this is capable of 
coming out of a pairing like that. But as hatchlings, the high yellow hatchlings are very easy to tell the difference. They look almost just like Mexicanus, the Mexican Spilotes. And they probably are pretty much the same thing. The best that I've been able to track down is that this lineage came from the Yucatan Peninsula in southern Mexico where it's a lot more tropical. So hopefully someday I'll be able to pull that off and see what comes of it. So this boy has reproduced for me before and I'm raising up a couple of babies. I got some girls that are almost to size. Maybe next year I should be able to get that pairing together. So there's another nice large colubrid. My favorite stuff to work with. So that's pretty much it for Spilotes. If you guys have any questions, message me. You can comment below and uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions that you guys have. And again, thank you for watching. I appreciate all the positive comments and I'm not done yet. There's a lot more to come. All right, thank you for watching everybody.